Hey guys, I'm back with another haul and just before I get into that I wanted to quickly announce that I will be holding a Camwell Market stall on the Sunday the 19th of May and I'll be selling lots of my stuff um, because I am moving so I'm doing a big clean out of my wardrobe and a lot of the stuff that I'm selling is brand new so if you're in Melbourne and you're free on that day then save the date and come along I'm also selling stuff with um, Phil and his sister as well so I will be doing a separate video on the details for that but just um, save the date now it's in about a month's time Another thing is you would have noticed that I styled my hair differently today. I've been wearing it curly or wavy for a really long time and I just decided to go to style it like this for today. And if you guys are still interested in seeing a tutorial, I was meant to do a hair tutorial on this look a while ago and I never got around to it. And I don't know if you guys are still interested. So just let me know um, down in the comments below. And uh, let's get straight into this haul. Um, once again... Most of these items are items that have been sent to me by companies and that is because I am so so super broke because I bought a house and I've been we've been furnishing it and buying stuff for it and getting married. You guys know the story. I'm just super broke. So the only clothes I can afford to have at the moment are mostly the clothes that have been sent to me. Um, I did buy a couple of things which will be towards the end of this haul. But to start off, um, I was sent a few items from a online fashion store called OMG Fashion UK and I chose three things from them. I've never heard of them before. The first thing is this um, Jack Daniels tank top, which I really, really love. Um, it's kind of that sheer fabric and I mean, I, I just love that, you know, it's a loose fitting tank. You can do so much with it. It's always good, in my opinion, to have graphic tees and tanks in your wardrobe. I just think that they can really um, add interest to a sort of boring or casual look. The next thing is this geek um, sweater or jumper, whatever you want to call it. I absolutely love this. It's um, it's coming up brighter on camera. It is slightly darker um, in real life and I love this burgundy colour. I think that, in my opinion, I think that it looks um, good on me, this colour. And I wore this last night and it's so warm, it's so comfortable. I really, really love this. Now the last thing I chose from that website are these sort of fake disco pants and they look like that and they just go right down to the leg now these would have been good if they fit me properly from memory I think this is a small to medium so I think they have small to medium and then medium to large and that's it for the disco pants and in my opinion pants like this they need to be a really good fit for you um, in order for it to look good and for me it's a little bit loose around the waist um, so if for example I was to wear a crop top you would see that it's loose around the waist not that I would anyway just because that's not really my style um, also the crotch sits too low on me and I have quite a few items from Shein side this time. Um, if you watch my videos, you would have seen a lot of these already. So what I'll do is, as well as linking the items down below in the description box, I'll also um, link the videos where I would have worn some of these items. Um, so just check the description box if you're curious. First thing is this dress, and it's got the faux leather sleeves, and it's just... A dress like that it's very simple um, but you know obviously what makes this dress um, interesting is the faux leather sleeves and I bought this so that I could wear it to work and I wore this to work this week and I got quite a few compliments um, it's really comfortable yeah the next thing is this zebra knit um, zebra print knit and I really really like this it's quite thick and I like that it's a bit shorter because it means that I can wear a shirt underneath and it will um, show at the bottom and that's how I wore it in one of my lookbooks which I will link down um, for you below and um, I also wore that other dress um, in a lookbook as well it may have been the same one I can't remember now but that's that next one I haven't worn in a video yet and it's this top here it looks like it's from Zara it's got the faux leather front and then it's got like the meshy sleeves as well as the back and um, yeah it's just a really nice 
top to add to the collection and it's got that sort of um, diagonal hemline as well. Also I got this chambray shirt and if you've watched my lookbooks you'll notice that I've been wearing my other chambray shirt heaps and so I decided to get another one and this is an ombre um, chambray shirt so it goes lighter at the bottom. In the picture it looked a lot more um, uh, distinct. Um, in real life it's a lot more sort of subtle um, but yeah so it's just like that. I also got this ombre sweater here and so it just goes down to a pink. I have also worn this in a video and, it's, and so it's just got the spiked shoulders as well and I really like this. This is also very comfortable. Also I got a couple of jackets or a few jackets or coats. The first one is this um, blazer here and it's got that really pretty sort of waterfall effect at the front but in the picture, I swear, it looked a lot more like a blush, um, more of a neutral colour, and then it's come out to be quite pink. And although I like pink gadgets and pink things, I don't really wear pink um, in general. I just don't like to dress too feminine, and it's just a little bit too pink for my liking. The next thing is this jacket here, which you would have seen in my lookbook, and... I really really love this. I think almost every YouTuber has this right now. And my face is really white. Anyways, so it's got like this quilted faux leather sleeves um, and goes down like that and you can unbutton this and you know wear it all zipped up if you like. Um, but yeah, I really really like this. It just has so much personality and once again it looks like a Zara jacket but yeah. The last thing is this winter coat here, and once again you would have seen it in my lookbook. Um, so you can see a bit more clearly there, and the reason why I chose this, and it looks a lot like a duffel coat, it's just that it doesn't have the, I don't know what they're called, but it's got the buckles instead. Um, and I got this mainly to wear to work, um, and I have worn it to work already because it's quite cold now. And it's also got that on the sleeve, so yeah, it's really nice and warm. And the next few items are from Romway and the, my favourite, absolute favourite from the bunch is this fur slash shaggy jacket and I got this um, when Catherine from Cappuccino, she linked me and she said she just bought it and I was like, oh my god, I have to have that too. So I really, really love this. It's totally on trend and I just can't wait till it gets a bit cooler so I can actually wear this out and I have worn this in the lookbook as well. Also I got this from Romway but it was from their Amazon store which they've just launched and I, to be honest I'm not really sure what the difference is. I just know that I received my item a whole lot quicker. I think it was within the week so I don't know that may be the only difference. I'm not sure but I got this skull um, knitted jumper and once again it's showing up a lot lighter on camera it's actually a darker burgundy color I'm really sorry I couldn't work out the lighting for this I don't know really how to use this camera and usually I would just ask Phil to fix it but he's not here anyway so I got this and this was also featured in the lookbook I also got this blouse here and it's just a sleeveless blue blouse it's a gorgeous blue color and it's got the metal tips and lastly, I got this skirt because I saw June from Hey June wear this skirt. It looked really good on her, except it doesn't look very good on me. I don't know why it doesn't sit on me like it does on her. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. But anyway, that's that. Now onto the items that I bought myself. And the first thing is my absolute favorite from the bunch. And you would have seen this before already if you've watched my videos. I love these boots. They're like the Jeffrey Campbells. Um, but obviously they're not Jeffrey Campbell um, and they've got the cutout. Um, they've just got like these really sort of hardcore buckles on them and yeah I just really really like these. They're really edgy and I got these from Toby. I did do more of a comprehensive review on them in my last haul. Um, so if you want to know more about Toby, you're going to have a look there and I'll have my referral link down below. Um, they didn't send me this for free or anything. It's just a, um, if you refer five friends, then you get 50% off. And also your first, your very first purchase with them is 50% off. So 
I love these. Also, I decided that I didn't have enough like circle skirts or like flared kind of skirts for winter to wear with stockings and boots and stuff so I went to Cotton On and bought two and I think it was two for 30 so I got this grey colour and I also got this khaki green colour and you know they're both very versatile colours and I don't have enough khaki um, in my wardrobe. Now if you follow me on Instagram you would know that I bought my first beanies just um, a couple of weeks ago. I went to High Point to check out the new Topshop store and oh my god High Point is so good now. It's better than the city. So I went to Topshop and I ended up buying two beanies and they were from the men's section because in my opinion um, they were just so much cooler than their women's beanies. Um, so I got this which I have Instagrammed. I really really like this and I also got this which I haven't worn just yet and they were quite pricey. I think they were 20 or 25 dollars each but I've never worn beanies before uh, and the reason being is because I feel that it looks funny on me or that it never sits properly on my head or it makes my head look flat or it just makes it makes me look weird and when I put these on I felt like it looked alright I hope so that's why I was willing to buy these then after I got those two beanies I kind of I think I opened up a little uh, desire to get more beanies and so I went on ASOS and bought another two except I don't know if they really work on me um, this one is quite cute it's just like a grey beanie but it like I think it's too I don't know it like doesn't sit properly I shouldn't be putting this on because I've got makeup on my forehead my forehead how do you wear beanies? Tell me how I'm supposed to wear this. Oh, how about like that? Does that look alright? Anyways, so there's that one, and then there's this one, which I really don't think I can make it work. It looked so good on the model, and then on me, it just looks funny. Like, how do I wear this? What the hell? I think I need to go back and look at the picture and see how she's wearing it. I'm such a dag. Oh, I don't know. I'm really um, very new to beanies. I don't know how to wear them properly and I still feel very self-conscious when I wear them as well. I feel like I look funny, but then I really like them. Anyways, that's the end of my haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching that and remember to save the date on the 19th of May if you are available and if you're in Melbourne and if you're interested in picking up a bargain. Uh, we'll be selling lots and lots of clothes and fashion accessories and stuff like that. Um, and stay tuned for that video. And that's it. Remember to, um, if you haven't already, you can follow me on my blog as well as Instagram, Twitter and like my Facebook page. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.